And in times of broken sorrow, I will build it back again. For to overcome the weight that I would carry for a friend. Though our words will speak in pictures, and they speak a thousand words. Though the eyes have hardly seen them, though the voices sound and heard. Though in times of broken arrow, and its hands are in the plug. Maybe words are both the key, and maybe I am just the lock. Maybe words are both the key, and maybe I am just the lock. I have a problem. What is it? I like John. So this John fella, he's a no one? He bothers me when he wants to avoid his girlfriend or amuse himself at lunch. We don't know each other. So, do you like him? You know I don't like idiots. Well, John's not an idiot though, is he? That's debatable. Oh, come on. It's kind of romantic. It's almost like it was written in the stars. You don't even know if either of us are gay. You don't have to be gay to like someone the same sex as you. Well, what must you be then? In love. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, mate. I just... I... Sherlock. Sherlock? What was he like? Oh, he's really interesting. Um, what else? Oh, um, he's wearing a dark coat and dark jeans, and he has this wild mop of curly hair, and he's- Molly, focus. What does that even mean? It means I can't unknow him, Greg. It doesn't matter if I never speak to him again, it's all his fault. Him and his stupid sandwich fillings, and his stupid drunk sister, and his stupid little hedgehog face. Will always be in some corner of my mind. Well, you know that everything I said the other day was meant as a joke, right? Oh, I- I don't mean romantically, you idiot. Sure you don't, because when it's a great Sherlock Holmes ever like someone. I know. Shut up. Wait, I'm more than a little confused. What the hedgehogs have to do with anything yet? Forget it, I'm going for a walk. Well, at this time of night, you'll get stabbed. Alright then. Good talk. Glad I could help. <laughs>